Hi everybody, back again to do my fourth and final review on the new Mizuno irons. Um, I've done three reviews, I've done MP15, I've done the MPH5 and I've done the JPX Forged 850, which are all brilliant clubs. But from an excitement value, this one here is probably the one that's going to excite me most because um, I've been hitting this early before I did the video and it's, it's quite amazing. So this is the JPX 850, okay? So this is the replacement to the 825, which, which was an absolute brilliant club for me. You know, I do a lot of custom fitting here at my golf academy. Um, an 825 was a, was a massive seller. I mean, I sold it to golfers of all ability. I'd sold it to uh, people playing off 28 handicap, but also sold it to people who were low single figures. So it was an amazing club. So JP850 looks great, you know, I love the little detail in the back with the blue and, you know, the run bird in there, looks great. But what we've got on here is a club that delivers extremely high ball speed. Now here's a fact which I found amazing, all this is off the website, so you can go and read it yourself. So the face on this club flexes past the competition limits placed on drivers by the RNA and the USPJ. So that flexes more than a titanium driver. So how they've done this is that they've, they've done something called the power frame. I don't know how it works, it doesn't ask me, but you know, the clever boffins at Mizuno have got this power frame, which enables the entire face to flex, which does give very high ball speeds. Uh, I'm gonna hit some in a minute, this thing goes miles. Loft on this is 28, so it's the same loft as on the JPX 850 forged, so 2 degrees stronger than the MP range, 37.25 inches long as a standard, and it's fitted, standard shaft is the XP105 is the standard shaft. Might have made a mistake on the 850 forged, saying it was a Dynalite XP Gold, the standard shaft on the 850 forged is an XP115, 115 gram shaft. But like all things with Mizuno, it's all custom fissible and your choice of shafts is huge. So, you know, it's very rarely these days that I fit anyone to standard. You know, we're normally changing something, either the shaft, the flex, the weight of the shaft, the lie of the club, uh, the grip size. All of these things are things which can be affected in a custom fitting. So let me jump in and hit a couple with this. I'm still on the... Uh, where am I? I'm still on the third at the, uh, the Brabazon, the Belfry. Uh, great hole, there's loads of water on the left. Got a green down there, pin about 175 away. Uh, let's see if we can get one of these things away. For me, I don't play a lot of golf these days, so when I do go and play golf, I, I really feel I need a club which gives me some help and helps me get away with some, some pretty bad strikes. And this thing does it for me. Let's see if we can launch one for you. Sets behind the ball. Looks great, not too chunky. Not a bad hit, first one off the blocks. Now watch this thing go. Didn't quite get all of that. Didn't quite get it, and I've got that one out to 175. When I was testing earlier, uh, I had this thing carrying just shy of 180, which for an old boy like me is not bad with a six iron. Let's try one more. I'm gonna try and lean on this one a bit. Locked it a little bit out to the right, that's not too bad. Just a little bit out to the right, so again, you know, carry distance 175 again. Green hit, just missed, but you know, these aren't great swings, but still managing to hit target. That's pretty good. That's pretty, it's all over it, that one. Coming back off the slope there. Come back. Come on. Back you come. 177. So I've got 175, 175, 177 carry. I feel with this club, personally speaking, I could stand there all day and hit this target. Um, put an MP iron in my hand. I'm not going to hit it that far. We know why, because it's a completely different animal. Lofts are different. Ball speeds are going to be different. But for someone who's looking to make the game a little bit easier, as I am, for me, it's a no-brainer. If I had to pick a club at the moment out of the Mizuno range, which was going to make me hit the ball, if it was going to make it fun, okay, then I would put this in my bag straight away. JPX 50 It's easy to hit. It goes miles. Um, and, it, and it's just great fun. It's the sort of club I just want to 
keep hitting balls with. So, really good club. Go ahead. It surprised me, it really has, in, in, a, in all sorts of good ways that did. Um, so, there you go. I can't say much more about it than that. It's, it's a great bit of kit. It's very easy to hit. It doesn't look uh, ugly like some of these distance clubs out there can do. Um, brilliant. Exciting stuff. Hope you enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed hitting that and I'll speak to you all soon.